What's up you guys? Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Usually we show you a destination or something like that, but today's video is going to be a little bit more about us, I guess, um, because we realized that for the last two years we haven't really been including you guys at all in what our plans are for the future, what we are going to do or sort of talk about the last year so we said we decided today that we're going to do a little bit of a maybe walk and talk tell you guys how our 2023 was and also let you know how 2024 will be going maybe um, but first off we want to say thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting us who have been watching our content the year 2023 was so much more successful than what we could have ever imagined. Yeah, 2023 was an absolute blockbuster for us and for our channel. We couldn't have been any luckier than we were, to be honest. I believe we started the year off in Sri Lanka. We broke in the new year in Gaul, Sri Lanka, of all places. Very random place to start off a year, but a fantastic country. We received a lot of support in Sri Lanka that we're very, very grateful for. And over 2023, we literally grew from somewhere around 20,000 subscribers yeah. up to where we are now, which right now, as of today, we are coming up to around 117,000. 1,000 people. Can you, I hope you guys can hear us, by the way, because it's quite windy here at the beach. I hope that the audio quality is okay for you to understand. I'm also going to maybe turn you around so you can see a little bit of what we are currently looking onto. Um, yeah, we basically grew one by 100,000 subscribers, more or less. And if you imagine 117,000 people standing in front of you, uh, I don't know, I think I would probably have a nervous breakdown or something like that. Um, I mean, I am a people person, but I'm not a, you know, standing in front of 117,000 people presenting type of person. But uh, yeah, just uh, the sheer thought of that. Uh, Wow, makes me feel a little overwhelmed, but also in a positive way. Um, I don't know. I'm just so, so grateful what, for what we achieved uh, in 2020, 2023 and 2024 will be hopefully similarly successful uh, than 2023. So yeah, we started our year off in Sri Lanka. After Sri Lanka, we went to India last year and we tried to cover as much ground as possible in India, which is so much more overwhelming than you think. If you look on Google Maps onto India, it really doesn't, I mean, it looks big, but it doesn't look that big. And uh, we tried to cover as much ground and failed miserably, but uh, our time in India was very, very interesting and uh, positively and negatively both um, interesting. It definitely showed me personally uh, what my sort of barriers are, what I cannot cross, where I am challenged and where I need to maybe work on myself a little bit more. I feel like that's sort of what India does to you, right? India changed us as people, I think. We spent around three months straight in India and it definitely changed our entire perspective on the world. And Sri Lanka was our gateway into Asia. So was India. Both of those countries taught us kind of how to behave generally in Asia. And then we worked our way further east. As you guys know, we worked our way. Believe it or not, our first stop after India was Thailand, where we are right now. And probably our favorite country in the world that we've traveled to so far. One thing I want to say about India though, that it's the only country in the entire world and all of the countries that we visited so far where I got food poisoning. So they will tell you as well how my India visit was. Very nice country though. Yes, India in general has some incredible nature. It has some very tasty food, but the cleanliness in some places, if we're being honest, was lacking. Sri Lanka, absolutely unbelievable. We made our way over to Thailand, like I just said, Thailand has quickly become our favorite country that we have ever visited. Quite possibly our favorite country that we've ever been to. It's up there, let's put it like that. 
but we've been enjoying a long, long time exploring around Thailand. We spent our first visa stay in Thailand to the full. We even extended and we enjoyed Songkran and that was genuinely the best festival that we've ever attended. Then from Thailand, we jumped our way down to Malaysia. Malaysia as well, absolutely gorgeous place. Very, very interesting overall. Totally different as well to a lot of the places that we visited previously as well. Yeah, so, so different than what we visited previously. Now, um, in terms of Malaysia, I want to say that we probably enjoyed Borneo, like Sarawak, probably a little bit more than um, the mainland, but we, that's because we didn't see so much of the mainland. I feel like we saw Kuala Lumpur, we saw Malacca, and I believe that, what, that was probably it in terms of mainland Malaysia. Kuala and then, Lumpur, Genting Highlands, Genting Highland, yeah. Malacca, and uh, we missed out on a lot of different places, if we're being honest. Yeah. We need to go back there at some point and explore more of that sort of mainland of Malaysia. But we also explored a little bit of Borneo. Yeah. We did prefer the vibe on Borneo. We were so excited to go to Borneo because obviously of the orangutans and orangutans, as English people say, um, <laughs> and uh, see the proboscis monkey, like the monkey with the long nose and so on. So we were a little bit more focused on seeing national parks and animals at that stage, I feel like. And after Malaysia, we went to... Indonesia. Indonesia. We went to Java afterwards, yeah. We spent a very long time in Indonesia. We saw... Um, we saw Java, we saw Sulawesi, and we saw parts of Bali, which we did not cover in or on our channel. But um, yeah, Indonesia is one of these countries that you just, you either love or you hate. And uh, we absolutely loved Indonesia. We even tried to get a residency there, uh, failed miserably at doing that. But we had a, we still have actually a one year visa there, so we did invest a little bit more time and a little bit more money into Indonesia. Sorry, I'll turn you guys around because you don't want to see my face this entire time. Absolutely loved Indonesia, loved the people. Also, the biggest Muslim version, uh, the biggest Muslim country in the world, nation was the word that I wanted to say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we learned a lot about uh, Muslims and Islam there as well, as well as uh, Buddhists and Hindus and so on. I feel like Indonesia is sort of a colorful mix of religions and people coming together, similar to Thailand actually, uh, where sort of everybody is from a different place, everybody is from a different background, different religion and so on. So yeah, I don't know. I just absolutely loved Indonesia. Indonesia was incredible. We basically made our way from Java across the entire length of Java. Then we went to Sulawesi, we saw Sulawesi as well. We realized how difficult it is to travel in Sulawesi and that definitely taught us a lesson. Indonesia taught us many lessons. Similar to the way India shaped us as people, it made us definitely more resilient. Indonesia also helped with that process and Indonesia overall was an unbelievable experience. And then from Indonesia, we made our way back here to beautiful Thailand. We keep coming back here and we want to keep coming back here as much as we possibly can. But here's the thing. Like I said, Thailand is literally up there, top three favorite countries that we visited so far. And genuinely, we, this is something that we haven't really spoken about on our channel. The whole goal of this YouTube channel why we initially started traveling. Literally why we started traveling. We left Ireland in 2021 in the middle of the crazy pandemic that was happening. We are looking for our home country. This is the whole reason that we started traveling in the first place. It's not just to be moving constantly for the rest of our lives or anything like that. We're looking to find our home, somewhere where we can establish a base, somewhere where we can set up different businesses and use our ideas and uh, I mean I'm sure we will still be traveling even at that stage even if we find a country that we want to stay in I'm sure we will still be traveling but obviously maybe a little bit at a slower pace 
and also concentrating a little bit more on the country that we will then be living in. Exactly. So the whole idea is basically to settle somewhere, use that as a base and then travel from that area and keep bringing you guys content like we want to as well. <laughs> Thailand oh is an incredible country, really top class. But the issue that we're having with Thailand is the visa situation. So we are not 50 years old. If you can't tell, we might look it, <laughs> but we are not at that age category where we can have a retirement visa. In terms of learning the Thai language, that is a possible option, but... But uh, yeah, so there's this educational visa, but for the educational visa, you need to stay where the language school is or educational visa, by the way, also includes uh, Muay Thai school. So you can also do like boxing or Muay Thai boxing and stuff like that. Which I would love. Which I Luke would, would love. I would love that. But, but. you are um, sort of bound to the location, obviously, where the school is, which means that we would have to, for example, let's say we would find a Muay Thai boxing school in, I don't know, Chiang Mai or something like that, for example, or Bangkok, uh, we would have to stay in that region, in that area, pretty much for the whole year and maybe try and create content on the weekends, right, to go uh, somewhere or... But you cannot really always go that far just for a weekend, I feel like. Yeah. So that wasn't really an option for us. And uh, the other two options are there is an elite visa, which is so expensive. It's a, considered a digital nomad visa, but it's just absolutely out of our range you have to earn so much money to make that and we are not in that category maybe one day we will be but right now we are not and um, there's another visa where you can just get like a one year type of visa which is also um, i don't know i'm not i'm not sure about the exact amount of money but i believe we uh, calculated it once with the conversion rate from a while ago it was uh, 15 000 euro per person per year which that's, is also crazy sadly that's just a little bit too expensive for us if we're gonna be spending that type of money every year we need to uh, be getting something in reward or something back i understand you would be granted uh, you would be able to be in thailand but for us right now that's not how we want to do things we want to keep moving and keep exploring and keep seeing new places but like i said thailand it already feels like home to us believe it or not even though we are just basically coming and going thailand genuinely feels like our second home at the moment but guys moving swiftly forward we have entered a new year it is 2024 as you all know and our plans for 2024 are as crazy as you can probably imagine so we're starting off 2024 right here in our favorite country, Thailand. Chumpon. In Chumpon, where we are right now. And we're gonna be exploring a little bit more of Thailand throughout the first part of 2024. So we have a couple more places that we want to hit up here before we sadly have to depart from Bangkok. We're not gonna tell you where those places are yet just to keep you on your toes. But what we will tell you is our next couple of countries after here now country number one when we're leaving bangkok we're going to be flying out of bangkok into i'll let you say it the philippines into the philippines <laughs> so we're going to go to the philippines that's going to be our first new country of 2024 we're going to fly from bangkok into manila spend a few days in manila and then we're going to go out and explore the vastness of the Philippines. Philippines is a country like Indonesia, like Thailand, that has been on our list ever since we first started traveling. It is a bucket list destination for us. I hope we're not going to experience the thriller in Manila. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. It's so cheesy, but I had to say it. Um, our next country after the Philippines will be... We're gonna go from the Philippines to Vietnam. So. From the Philippines, we're gonna make our way to Hanoi. That's gonna be the starting point for us in Vietnam. We're gonna possibly spend roughly around a month or so in Vietnam. Our goal is to make from the north all the way down to the south of Vietnam. 
explore what that country has to offer. It looks incredible. Yeah, we're super, super excited to be going to Vietnam. Now, the reason uh, why Vietnam is, I don't know if we ever told you, but our traveling, our YouTube channel doesn't sustain our travels yet, which means that I'm still working on the side and I have uh, a few meetings in Vietnam to attend. We're just going to be super exciting and we're just going to uh, basically cooperate, coordinate that with probably around a month, I believe. I think you can get like 30 days or 45 days visa in Vietnam. So we're going to be doing that. Oh my God, I think I just saw a big fish there. I oh know it's a swimmer. <laughs> it's a, somebody who's snorkeling, thank God. And after Vietnam, we will be going to... We are planning, believe it or not, a second trip to, again, one of our favorite countries, and that country is Sri Lanka. We're gonna, play, we're gonna be doing a 2.0 or a Sri Lanka second series. We have many, many places in that country that we haven't visited yet. It is absolutely gorgeous. Sri Lanka has gone through so much trouble over the last, basically, decade now, uh, between civil war, unrest, just total chaos if we're being honest economic so collapse. economic collapse as well but, but while Sri Lanka is in that situation it is so much more amazing than anybody could ever imagine it's such a beautiful country the people are amazing and we're so excited to be going back um, I believe we have a little bit of uh, east coast to hit up to parts of Sri Lanka that we didn't see a bit of east coast probably a little bit of the center and then maybe also uh, visit a few old friends of ours that we very very miss. Um, so yeah, Sri Lanka. And after Sri Lanka, we will be going to? Sri Lanka is gonna be incredible. It will be our second time there, as you guys know. And then from Sri Lanka, we are looking at making our way further west back towards the continent that we literally sprinted away from. We're gonna head back towards Europe. We have a couple places that we need to see in Europe. And one of those places will be a second time visit as well. And that is the great country of Poland. Yeah. We really enjoyed Poland. The people there are fantastic. Sometimes they're a little bit grumpy, but they're fantastic people. The food Very is resilient. Amazing. The food in Poland is incredible. The beer in Poland is incredible. The nature in Poland is out of this world. So we will be doing a second visit to Poland. No exact dates though. We don't have any exact dates for when we're visiting these specific countries. It's just gonna be basically in 2024. Yeah. Um, hopefully as well before Poland, we are planning to go for the very first time to explore Romania. Romania, Romania is on our list as well. That country looks incredible. We only passed through Bucharest uh, once and in those literal 24 hours that we were in Bucharest, we fell in love with the people and we said we have to come back and make videos there. Yeah, so we will be probably, I suppose, hitting up a few countries in Europe. Also visit family. Believe it or not, we didn't see our family in a long time. So I assume we will also be visiting family and um, yeah from there on I think I don't know I kind of want to see maybe Bulgaria or something like that as well and uh, probably potentially move on to maybe South America Central America something like that would yep. be very nice uh, both of us are very interested in seeing uh, Argentina Argentina and Peru Colombia Colombia I really want to see Belize as well. Belize, we want to maybe see Mexico for the second time. Mexico for the second we did time. Mexico, we spent four months traveling around Mexico on public transport. And that country, again, we absolutely fell in love with. Mexico is yeah. in our top three as well. But the country of Mexico is so vast and you only get, as a European, you get six months of a visa. And the last time uh, we really tried to see everything. Satika, hello. Hello. The last time we really tried to see everything in Mexico and uh, oh my god that country is so huge so yeah maybe this time around we're gonna try and maybe start uh, in Mexico City or something like that instead of Playa del Carmen and maybe make our way from there 
uh, west or something, I don't know. Yeah guys, but uh, if you can't tell, 2024 is already going to shape up to be probably one of the craziest years of our lives. We hope that you guys are going to come with us, join us on this chaos that we call our life. And uh, wow, the country counter is going to be going up a lot this year. Uh, hopefully we will get to see everything that we are talking about. And we hope that you guys will be here to watch us and support us along the way. Also, because we are looking for a new home country, please let us know in the comments. Uh, what is your favorite place in the world? Uh, what is your favorite country? Where do you think we might fit in? And uh, maybe along the way we're going to try and hit that place up uh, because obviously we are just two people. We just have two, two hands each, so four hands. And uh, we're trying to, I don't know, find out as much about countries as we possibly can. And uh, yeah, two brains, four hands, two people. We're gonna and try our best. Before we let you guys go, we want to let you as uh, you will want to let you know as well. 2024, we are not only going to be doing this one channel. Oh yeah, new this, projects. <laughs> this is our this is our baby. This is our main channel. We will always be uploading here at least twice a week. So keep that in mind. We're not going anywhere here. This is only the beginning of the Two Mad Explorers channel, but we're starting some extra projects. So. Starting off, if you guys are curious about how much money we spend, we are starting a second channel that is going to be called the Two Mad Budget Explorers. So everything that we spend is going to be broken down on that channel. It is going to be calculated, put into an Excel spreadsheet. We're going to display for you what it is that we are spending on a weekly basis in those specific countries and locations. Exactly, we're starting that channel because we are receiving quite a bit uh, of messages on how much exactly we're spending, how we're doing all of this, um, because it's, it's actually a little bit more difficult than you think it might be. It sounds so easy to just create YouTube content and uh, yeah travel the world or whatever but uh, it's a lot more difficult than you think it is and uh, so we just want to like show you exactly how much money we are spending now obviously every single person is different every single person will spend a different amount of money but like to give you a rough estimate of what you might need for two people yeah. in uh, whatever place that we are at that moment <laughs> exactly and alongside that we want to let you guys know that we're putting in a lot of effort at the moment towards our TikTok. So if you guys don't know already, we have a TikTok. We are very, very close from hitting 10,000 followers over on TikTok. So that's where a lot of our short form content is going to be put together. We're going to be editing, cutting out different short form videos, little mini vlog adventures as well. Follow us over on TikTok. And uh, yeah, guys, we have other projects coming too, which we're not gonna speak about just yet until we have confirmation about them going ahead. But we couldn't be more grateful to start 2024 off at such a beautiful part of Thailand. We absolutely love you guys and the support that you've been giving us and cheers to a fantastic 2024. I cannot believe that we've been talking for 24 minutes now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But uh, yeah, uh, we just decided to let you guys be part of what is happening in our heads and our lives right now. Literally, this video is probably going to come out like, I don't know. Random extra video. Two, yeah. two three days, four days maybe after uh, we are going to shoot this. So you know where we're at and uh, let us guys, let us know where you guys are at, please, as well, so that we know where you are in uh, in your journey because obviously we don't see a whole lot of you guys you see everything about our lives but we uh, oftentimes don't know who you are so uh, let us know your yeah. 2024 plans as well in the comments just so you have them there so you can go back to them check them out and keep yourself accountable yeah and also we would like to know who you are so yeah. where uh, are you watching from where are you watching from what yeah. part of the world etc let us guys know a little bit about yourself because uh, I don't know, I feel like a lot of times it's like a one-way relationship of us with the camera, but uh, it, it's not like a two-way thing, so and uh, I would like to have more of a two-way thing if possible. Yeah guys, 2024 is going to be an absolutely incredible year. For now, 
My name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. We'll see you guys in a 2024 Thailand adventure. Kopkun Naka for watching. Kopkun Ka. Bye bye. Bye bye.